Jesus, the tenderness of your Holy Spirit, the joy and the peace, fill us in your name. Amen. Parents and children, grandparents, have you noticed that birthdays are a pretty big deal right now? The reason that kid birthdays are such a big deal is that we parents, we love to dote on our kids and make them a big deal. Well, it starts off innocently enough, right? You know, when your kid turns one, and, and you just invite like grandmas and grandpas and a few friends over. Baby doesn't know or care, so you have your food, you have your treats, your beverages, you know, all that you want there. And, and, but then everything starts stair-stepping up. And pretty soon you got to have a theme. Uh-huh. It's buttons and bows or it's Barbie or... And then the cake. You can't just have sheet cake anymore. You've you got to have a, a special made cake. And, and, and then as the child gets into uh, the, the grade school, you've got to have a lot more than that. You can't just have a, a party. And then you're into the several party stage. You know, where you have the friend party and you got to go to pump it up or, or all star sports. And, and, and then... Then you can have the family party. Of course, none of those coordinate on the exact date of their actual birthday. So you've got to have actually a third party because you can't just have the actual day come and go and not celebrate. It, it kind of goes into a week, ten day event. And, and then as the child gets even older, your whole basement is just filled with giggly teens, you know, and tweens. And, and, and then the price of gifts... You know, you start off, there's a lot of gifts for the little kid, but then there's a few expensive gifts, you know, for the older kids. And, 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 and we've done this to ourselves, right? Okay, and we wanted to. We want to make it a big deal. Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's kind of like, that's what Christmas feels like too, you know? It started off pretty innocent. It was a one-day event at church. We're going to celebrate the birth and nativity of our Savior. And churches would fill up. But then, you know, it's such a big deal. We should probably, you know, since all the families here get together and, and, and it's such a joyful occasion, we're going to exchange gifts. And, and now it's turned into this major industry of decorations and, and how many parties. I mean, the parties really almost start in November. And so you can get them all in by the time Christmas comes. And with Christmas at the office and then schools and families. And a lot of families are even celebrating Christmas at Thanksgiving because we can all be there. And it just kind of ekes from one day into a, an enormous party. And, and then you've got a lot of concerts to go to, kids and, and community. And well, the, the price of gifts go from a few to a lot and... Now, I'm not here to criticize or judge anyone because I'm as much part of the problem as anybody else. Okay, I mean, it's just fun, right? It, 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 we want to do it. We're happy to do it. I would just like to take a moment, though, to realize what we're doing and look at the fine distinction between celebrating a birthday and celebrating a birth. We gathered here tonight not to have a birthday party for Jesus because he's one year older, right? You know, it'd take over 2,000 candles for that cake. So we're, we're not here for his birthday. We're here to celebrate his birth, which was an historical event that happened with a woman, a young woman in the Middle East. Her name was Mary, and she was engaged to be married to Joseph. And they were planning on a regular, normal life. They were not special people in any measure of this world of wealth or status. We would have never heard about them, except Mary got pregnant. 
which, you know, happens, I get that, but it's not what you think. It was not the normal way things happened, but that is so out there, so beyond human comprehension that Joseph was ready just to cut ties. That's not how the world works. I know how the world works, and so we're getting a divorce. Of course, the angel comes and explains everything, that this baby is a special baby. This is the very Son of God. This is the one you've been waiting for as a child of Abraham, as a child who's been growing up with hearing all of the stories of the prophets, that God will finally come and be with us one day. Well, Joseph, what is inside of Mary is that promise. Conceived by the Holy Spirit, God has come to be with us. See, if that's, if that's what's going on, if God really is here, and that's a big reason to throw a lot of parties and extend it beyond a month, to, to go to all kinds of concerts and musical programs for children and adults. Yeah, buy lots of lights for your house and decorations for the inside. That, that's a very good reason that God has come. And that's much better than a birthday party. Because you've been there, right? You've been to the birthday party as a kid when it's not your birthday. Okay? None of those friends are your best friends. None of those presents are for you. You didn't get to pick the venue. Oh, All-Star Sports, we went there last week. Okay, I'll do the go-karts. And, and you, you didn't get to pick the food or anything. It's like, oh, okay, pinata, I get it. And... and if it is a celebration of a birth, the whole world turns upside down then. See, this birth was for you. You are the center of attention when it comes to this birth. That's the reason God sent His Son. You see, all of the presents on the table, the big treasure trove of gifts, they all have your name on them. Look at the package. As you open them, they all fit. They're all just what you really wanted. Love. Peace. Oh. Really to have peace in your heart. Joy. Huh. Goodness. Self-control faithfulness, all of these gifts, and they're all for you, and nobody's excluded. Nobody's just going home with a gift bag of the trinkets. Everybody's getting cake. Everybody's getting their chance to put the, the tail on the donkey and a whack at the pinata. Everybody is the center of attention that we're all singing to. You get to wear the hat. Because the celebration of the birth of Jesus... See, it's more than simply, well, God felt bad that, you know, you weren't going to be included in the party, so He sent you an invitation. He said, oh, I forgive you all of your sins. No, He came to be with us. Today, right now, and as you walk out into the parking lot, as you go home, in the middle of your family gatherings, as you head to work, there's not a time where this God says, well, I don't need to be with you, giving you my gifts. I don't need to be with you, shaping and forming your heart to be like my son Jesus. There's never a moment, even into eternity, where God says, I'm done with you. I've had enough of you. That's what this birth is all about. So here again, on the tag of the gifts, it says, this is how God showed His love among us. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live, really live through Him. Not just have a life. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. If you really are the center of the attention, if this party really is for you, then do not leave here tonight without in the depths of your soul knowing that God really loves you. That He really forgives all of your sins. 
See, that's what's life-changing about today. That's the reason in the darkest part of the year, we put lights on. Because the light of truth and hope and joy has come. Please, the gifts are for you. Amen.